This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Chapter 9. The Two Essential Factors for Building Positive Relationships Fast We know how important positive teacher-student relationships are and that they are at the heart of good teaching. But the big question is this, how do we go about building them? I mean, specifically, what are the exact steps that we should take in order to develop those positive trusting bonds? It's one thing to know that we should do something, it's another thing entirely actually doing it, especially when you don't really know how. As a senior teacher in a small student referral unit, I spent a great deal of time trying to subtly encourage and advise other members of staff on how they could best get on with our more challenging students. Eventually, I found that the simplest way of thinking about a relationship is as a kind of account, a relationship account, a little bit like a bank account. When we want to grow the money in our bank account, we make deposits, and then we get money back in the form of interest. So the more money we put in, the more we get back out. In other words, we have to give in order to receive. And the principle is much the same with a relationship account. The more we put into the relationship account, the more we get back out. But we don't put money in, unless, of course, we're talking about the relationship with our own children. We make our deposits with something very different and much more valuable. We give ourselves. And we do it in two ways. We do it by showing the other person we care about them, and by communicating frequently with them. If you think about the important relationships in your life, those with your spouse, your friends, your family, you'll see that this is true. We are almost constantly connecting with our friends through speech or the written word. We show we care by showing interest in each other's problems and helping each other, by doing favours, saying nice things, giving gifts. By concentrating solely on these two essential factors, frequent communication and showing that we care, I believe we have the simplest possible formula for building relationships with our students. And we're going to look at multiple ways of doing this in this chapter. First, if you doubt the efficacy of this, let me tell you another story about someone who used these two factors as the main tool for building positive relationships in his sales career, with dramatic results. Joe Girard used to be a car salesman, and he earned the title World's Greatest Salesman. Now, as you can imagine, you have to sell a lot of cars to reach the title of the greatest salesman in the world. And Joe managed to do it a staggering 12 years in a row. He attributes his success largely to the relationships he had with his customers. And the way he went about building those relationships is utterly fascinating, yet remarkably simple. Basically, all he did was this. Whenever he met someone in the street, in a shop, at a party, whatever... He would ask their name and address, and he would enter them into his database. From that moment on, every month, these people would get a handwritten greetings card from Joe. Inside the card would be a brief but warm message along the lines of, Hey, I was just thinking about you. Best wishes, Joe Girard. Or, Hey, I hope everything's going great for you. All the best, Joe Girard. At his peak, Joe was sending out more than 14,000 handwritten greetings cards every month. That's about 500 handwritten cards a day. And at this point, he was employing three staff just to help him write them. Now, you might be wondering why a salesman would bother sending out all those cards, particularly when there was no mention of selling anything in any of them. All he was doing was keeping in touch. All he was doing was sending a warm greeting to people he barely knew. But think about this. Most people change their car every few years. Who do you think was first in the minds of those 14,000 people when they next thought about replacing their vehicle? You can see that Joe's formula for building relationships, communicating frequently with each person, and showing he cared about them, matches ours perfectly. So let's find out how to apply these two essential factors to the classroom setting.